if you can summarize, you know, the work of chaplains, you know, keep your heart busy with Allah and keep your hands busy with the people. So Alhamdulillah, we have this opportunity to keep our hands busy with the people. And you know the uh, famous story about uh, whether the glass is half full or half empty. Is the glass half full or half empty? Well, it really depends whether you're doing the pouring or the drinking. And with chaplaincy, you know, we are professional pourers, you know. We're serving, we're pouring, and those whom we serve are drinking. And I really believe that our community needs to think very seriously about the role of chaplains because the, the role of imams um, are changing, especially in our context. Now, the traditional role of imams will always be very clearly to do what? To lead our community religiously and spiritually, to provide scholarship, to provide guidance, at the same time, our context is really creating a space for different kind of work because imams are overwhelmed with so much. Speaking of burnout, <laughs> many of our imams are burning out in front of our eyes. And the role of imam is changing so rapidly because there's so much drama that they have to deal with. Chaplains now are so well positioned to be able to provide, you know, a space to deal with some of that quote unquote drama. And I think that the work of Muslim Chaplaincy of Toronto um, can play a big role in helping to redefine what it means to serve our community, right? To offer that support to imams because chaplains aren't imams. Chaplains are not imams, right? We provide a different space and some use this term third space, you know, third sacred space. I, I, I don't have much opinion about, about that particular word. Uh, I'd prefer to have one space, but hey, we use this term third space. Okay, we'll move with it. But I think we have this great opportunity and Muslim chaplaincy can um, play a big role in, in redefining what it means to have a safe spiritual space.